Subis was one of the area's hardest hit last year by the sargassum seaweed, posing health challenges for residents, a stench for passers-by, and a disruption to fisher folk plying their trade. This posed a challenge for government as attempts were made to find ways to ease the accumulation. Environmental wardens were deployed in some areas such as Subis, as well as the use of heavy equipment to remove the cluster. The seaweed has been used in some Caribbean islands as a source of nutrients for agricultural crops. Environmental expert Dr. Valma Jessamy says no one country can solve this problem. Jessamy speaks on how the seaweed can be utilized. Seaweed is a resource. We could use it for agriculture. Right? It's a high-value resource that could be put into the land as fertilizer and um, rather than letting it um, be seen just as a nuisance. And you could apply it directly as a weed control barrier. It would stop weeds from growing in between your crops. And it's not going to harm the crops because our soils are very acidic naturally because it's volcanic soil. So the seaweed would help to raise the pH. And plants love when the pH is not so low. So it would, it would, it would boost plant growth. She blames governments of the region for part of the problems that presents itself in the Caribbean Sea. We have a convention that declares the Caribbean Sea a special area, the Catahina Convention and its FAR protocol. The government of the Caribbean have been lax in not implementing the, the, the requirements of those protocols for protection of the Caribbean Sea. So the Caribbean Sea is a dumping ground for waste from all countries, including North America. And if we do not take care of the health of the Caribbean, we will see more algae blooms, we will see death of, of coral reefs and, and wildlife diversity is down because we are treating the Caribbean Sea bad. Cleaning up appears to be the only alternative at this time. Christina John, GBN News.